And we begin tonight with the breaking news, a horrifying incident at the Topeka Zoo in Kansas. A male tiger mauling a zookeeper shortly after the facility opened today as horrified zoo visitors watched. That seven-year-old big cat, you see him there named Sanjeev, was seen here back in 2017 when he was first welcomed to the Kansas facility. Today, attacking that female zookeeper, the primary tiger handler there with many years on the job. She's been rushed to the hospital after the tiger tackled her. ABC's Maggie Ruley starts us off. Tonight, a tiger attack at the Topeka Zoo leaves staff scrambling to save one of their own. We have staff getting attacked by a tiger. That frightening 911 call coming in shortly after the zoo opened at 9. Sanjeev, an endangered Sumatran tiger and his experienced keeper together in an outdoor pen when the animal turned. The two trapped for nearly 10 agonizing minutes. The five staff is still in the enclosure. The tiger is still next to them, still attacking. The exhibit already open to visitors put on lockdown with the zoo's firearm response team dispatched to the scene. Some of our guests actually witnessed this happen. The tiger finally lured back inside and that female zookeeper rushed to a local hospital, suffering lacerations and puncture wounds to the back of her head, neck and arm. Thanks to about three heroes on our staff, um, this could have been a very different outcome. A live stream camera shows the Zeus tigers in a pen after the attack as authorities investigate why the keeper and tiger were in the enclosure at the same time. There really isn't a circumstance where uh, they should be in the same space. So, so there was some sort of error that occurred here. For now, the zoo is standing by their animal, a fixture for years who recently fathered four cubs. Sanjeev this morning did exactly what a tiger would. Uh, when something comes into its territory. And there is absolutely no consideration to euthanize Sanjeev. And Maggie really joins us now. Maggie, we just heard right there the zoo director says they are not going to euthanize the tiger, that the tiger did nothing wrong, and making it clear there were mistakes made that led up to this accident. That's right, Tom. The zoo made it clear that the tiger reacted exactly the way that a wild animal would react. And instead of blaming the tiger, they're now focusing their investigation on procedures that could have gone wrong at that zoo. Tom. Maggie Ruley starting us off tonight. Maggie, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.